God, I think trucks are hot. It's modern, but it just still looks retro. The pickup truck is the most American vehicle around you. Fast, low, sleek, cool. And kind of sinister. Spring Green, Wisconsin. Home to custom car building legends, the Ring Brothers. And one of their finest builds is a Ford F100 like no other. God, I think trucks are hot. I don't know, I, I don't think everybody likes the early, early Ford F100s. It's somewhere between a 54 and a 56. It's actually a 56 cab on it, but we used the 54 grill and pretty much built everything else. Most people will recognize it as a 56 just because of the cab. This first class resto mod pickup was a 3,000 man hour build costing $85,000 in parts alone. Honestly, this truck did not take very long from start to finish. We ended up doing this truck in about seven months. This entire truck was hand built, including the entire box, the tailgate. The tailgate's kind of cool the way it opens. You just basically pull down on it and it stays open and then it just shuts automatically. Obviously the cab is original, the fenders, so the rear fenders were actually widened quite a bit to get that big tire underneath them. But also, this area was shortened up to give it just a little tighter look. Typically on the 56 Ford F100, the front wheels look like they're pretty far back on them trucks. These we actually move forward to get rid of that, what we call an overbite. Personally, I just think it helps the appearance of these trucks. I think the only thing left of original sheet metal, and it's been touch, but is, is just basically the cab and, and the hood. We like the 56 grill, but we like the 54 grill better, so we ended up basically putting the 54 front end on this 56 pickup. A little more chrome. Personally, we like it better. It's, I guess it's everybody's opinion with that. Sometimes things are just best left alone, and we felt like the hood, the bubble in it, really worked well with the truck. While this vehicle has the looks of a 50s masterpiece, it's not short of up-to-date tech. Some of the modern conveniences on this truck is the braking system in it, obviously all power brakes. It's got a, an electronic transmission in it. It's all fuel injected. It's got air conditioning, a Bluetooth stereo system in it. There's a lot of modern amenities in this truck that you'd probably never pick up by just walking by it. And the faultless nostalgic beauty isn't just reserved for the bodywork. Inside, obviously, we wanted it to be a little more old school with all the amenities. It's modern, but it just still looks retro. We actually used the same seat and left the bench seat in it. These we actually color-coded to kind of tie in with the interior, but there's a lot of parts like this that we actually build for these vehicles. You can see that the door hinges are all machine billet. We actually build all this stuff in-house for these trucks. It's the little things in the interior, like the headliner looks like an old zoot suit material. The powertrain in this truck is a stock crate Ford Coyote motor. Ford sells it as a crate motor package, their own computer. It's pretty much plug and play. It's really a nice fit. Kind of looks like it's meant to be in this truck. I think it makes about 400, 415 horse. It's all this truck needs. Pickup truck is the most American vehicle around. It's pretty exciting to see what people are doing with these trucks. A 1950s American classic and some Ring Brothers magic. What's not to like?